Well, ferry frustrations are mounting on Denman Island in the wake of a breakdown that left a ferry filled with passengers stranded in the middle of Bain Sound today. It happened aboard the new Cable Bay ferry that was designed to reduce costs and increase reliability. Sky Ryan reports. Victoria Coast Guard, all that on one six. Boaters respond to a vessel in distress in Bain Sound, unlike any they've seen before. The new cable ferry operating on the route between Buckley Bay and Denman Island for just three and a half months is crippled midway. We have 34 people on board. Stranding passengers, crew, and cutting off a vital transportation link ahead of a busy Friday travel rush. The ferry is supposed to have a secondary engine in there, and uh, for some reason it's, they're not managing, so the redundancy isn't working. Creating long lineups on both sides that local boaters try to help. Well, I guess I'm going to be hauling to go back and forth to whatever they, they have to do, go to school or go to the doctor's appointment. As the crew aboard the cable ferry try to sort out the trouble that began with passengers' emails and calls from the boat describing a fire aboard. There was a loud noise and then all the alarms went off. And then um, they got us to the front of the boat and then it was a, an oil leak. There was never a fire. It was just oil. The breakdown happened on the 9 a.m. sailing. A hydraulic leak set off alarms and disabled the vessel. An hour later, a boat saddles alongside and tugs it in with all the power it can muster as passengers stir and grandmother Leslie Gillette tries to calm her crying toddler. They gave, people gave him food and brought water. And, and three hours after boarding for a 15 minute crossing to Denman Island, they were back in Buckley Bay. Yeah, it's been three hours now. <laughs> with flattering reviews of how the crew handled the breakdown, it was great. We had lots of updates. Uh, everybody was pretty laid back. Repairs and an investigation got underway immediately in hopes of having the service resume within hours. We want to understand what exactly happened that led to the old ring uh, bursting. But it hasn't quieted critics who say this failure is unacceptable. Being that the XX were they, they're pumping all this money into a new ferry, they still don't have a proper emergency plan. Okay. Six hours later, service resumed for lined up passengers, but not before refueling the controversy over the new ferry in the process.